did want to give a brief overview and orientation of the difference between uh, the UNLV program and, and some of the other programs that you may have been visiting in different booths. Most of the other programs are tracked to a particular poly and a particular uh, academic discipline. Uh, the UNLV program is different in the sense that we recruit from all of the polytechnics and we recruit from all academic disciplines. This is the same as we do in Las Vegas at our main campus. And the reason for that is that while our degree is in hospitality, it is really more of the generic and typical American undergraduate degree. That is to say, after you've taken that full undergraduate degree, you can go into hospitality, and most of our students do, at least initially, but you could just as easily go into some other industry. You could go to graduate school. You can go into government service. There's, there's, it's not as vocationally tracked. Even though it does have a strong industry and vocational component, it also has a strong general education component. It's a fantastic fantastic way to get into the work world is through hospitality because it, it tends to be a young person's business, it tends to be a very dynamic business, it has very flexible work hours and very demanding work hours and very different work hours and because there's such a need right now, the opportunity to be promoted in those areas is very high. If you have this broad general education and your undergraduate degree, you can within easily within five years go from a very entry-level job to a fairly senior uh, management type role that then frankly you start looking around to other industries and other occupations and yet you're at a higher level from having started in hospitality than you would have been if you started in banking or started in manufacturing. So we believe it's a, it's a very good opportunity but the best way to maximize that opportunity is to have a basic undergraduate education. Uh, but I think for those of you who are interested in hospitality program, this is it. Don't uh, shop elsewhere. This is the program. If your children are interested in the hospitality program, this is it. And this is the program that enjoys a worldwide reputation simply because we have a high caliber of faculty and uh, we also claim the world's largest laboratory in the world, which is Las Vegas Strip. We offer a uh, two-and-a-half-year program uh, uh, through which you will get an American degree, not UNLV Singapore, but UNLV degree, exact uh, same degree that we give out uh, back in the main campus. Okay, for UNLV, um, back in the main campus, we have about 28,000 students uh, with uh, uh, 10 colleges. But in our at UNLV Singapore campus, we offer one degree, and, and we offer uh, a range of open electives for you to, uh, uh, to uh, focus in that particular area. So L Las Vegas Strip is a uh, wonderful kind hospitality laboratory where our students will definitely have a chance to uh, connect with the industry. And in UNLV Singapore, uh, well, we are 10,000 miles away, we can't really put you on a uh, um, on, on, on the space shuttle and, and transfer you uh, to uh, Las Vegas. But what we can offer here is the same business model. In other words, we uh, work very closely with the uh, local industry. So you have a chance to uh, work in the industry, get, get a sense of where exactly you want to uh, focus on. For example, if you're not a gaming person, uh, you may not want to work on the gaming floor. If you're not a food and beverage person, you may not want to uh, choose to work in, in, in the back of the house. But we provide all kinds of opportunities. Um, for everybody in the program, you definitely, it's a mandatory trip to Las Vegas. Uh, but what we can do though is to organize a range of activities uh, for you to participate, to interact with the main campus students. You also have a chance to take some classes in the classroom. Uh, and also we arrange site visits. We invite guest speakers to the classroom. We also uh, organize some outdoor activities for you to really uh, uh, get some uh, uh, real hands-on experience with what the destination has to offer. So everybody will, will get on uh, a, a trip to Las Vegas. So in, in a nutshell, that is really what we offer uh, in our entire program. What kind, of, what kind of experience are you going to receive or expect um, in our uh, uh, UNLV Singapore campus? I think, first of all, 
you, I, you have to put that mentality uh, in place. In other words, you have to give your best. You have to study and you have to learn hard. We want you to be successful, but you have to prepare yourself from day one. So this is a very high quality program. Uh, hospitality tourism is a big umbrella name under which we have all different kinds of uh, sectors which I'm going to um, allude to uh, later on. But the bottom line here is that we not just confine you to the classroom setting in the National Library. Uh, each one of you will have to complete 1,000 practical hours. We uh, also design a, what we call the internship uh, with a minimum of 400 hours. In that internship, you have to complete um, uh, a program that will allow you to rotate through different functional areas in that particular hospitality sector. Okay, some of you are, I think, all of you are interested in the hospitality sector, but exactly, what does hospitality or tourism mean? It could mean different things, uh, different things to different people, right? What I have on the slide covers the major hospitality tourism sectors um, that you have in mind. Most of you will say, well, hotel, definitely, food and beverage. But guess what? We have others, mice, uh, and events, exhibitions, conventions. We have travel tour agencies. We have airlines. We're not really trying you to be a flight attendant, but definitely you'll be uh, equipped with the skills to manage your department, especially how to deal with the customer service, uh, how to do strategy, how to do uh, 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 a development, um, attractions, theme parks. Uh, that's another very promising uh, career path, especially in, in Singapore, and, and that's the national policy that Singapore wants to add more attractions to what you can offer so that visitors to, last, uh, to uh, Singapore can stay longer. Okay, and they do need a quality labor force, and they do need the management people, future leaders like you. Spa and wellness. This is a very emerging uh, hospitality sector, and we do need managers in, in, in that area, area as well. This is the best deal for Singapore. Okay, we offer a four-year program in the main campus, um, but because you have taken, uh, you have graduated from a, a local poly, uh, we're going to give you this degree in two and a half years. Is that a good deal? Our university courses will cover two major areas. Um, uh, one is the general education. Some of you have taken communication, English composition, uh, math, right, biology. You can come into our program with those course exempt. Of course, each one of you case is very different. Our academic staff will work with each one of you to look at how many credits that you can bring in before you start a program. Okay. Um, the other one is hospitality management major. In other words, these are the courses that we control. In other words, these are the things that you particularly learn uh, 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 from our course offerings. So two major um, academic um, directions in terms of uh, course offerings. The, the uh, admission requirements for Singaporean citizens and PRs, I'm sure you have a poly diploma or you're going to get one pretty soon. And you apply to our program through SIT. And each one of you, each one of you will be interviewed. This is a special feature that we don't have in the main campus. The reason is that we want to make sure that we want you to be successful, successful in the first place. If I ask you why you want to uh, join the hospitality industry, well, I don't know. I just need a job. Mom and dad wants me to uh, study this university. Guess what? I'll put a, a cross on that, right? <laughs> the interview is done. Uh, so I really want you to, to be passionate about what you want to do. I know it's too early for you to plan out the rest of your life, but for the next uh, two and a half years, if this college degree you want to get from us, I want to see that you want to put the best effort into it. I don't want slackers, I want overachievers. So if you can convince me in that interview, welcome on board.